Ino no koto mana nakata, no koto mana nakata, ne katia. Sala kasa kata na koti na koso koti na koso katia. Beware the Trojan horse. Given to Apostle Elizabeth Elijah, crying out with a voice like unto Jonah, to a nation like unto Nineveh. Nineveh repented for a season, will America, or a beautiful country, blessed with beauty, and once stood for holiness and freedom, continue down the dead end road and end up as Nineveh and Sodom and Gomorrah. I am not the only apostle and prophet sent forth with this warning to America, but the question is who is listening? What will you do with the prophetic warning? Yahweh always sends forth the apostles and prophets to sound the alarm. Repent. Turn back to holiness, the God of your creation and salvation, because of Yahweh's love and mercy before he sends a judgment. This message was given June 30th, 11 o'clock a.m. Beware the Trojan horse. My children, you ask me to have mercy on America, but I, Yahweh, ask you, when will my children have mercy on me? I have said before, beware of the Trojan horse. Again and again I have told this daughter, now prophesizing, beware of the Trojan horse. America, you are that Trojan horse. You come as a blessing to Israel. You come as a helping hand to Israel. But behind your back, you carry a blood-soaked dagger to put into the backs of the Israel leaders. America, you are a Trojan horse. But you shall pay a price for this if you do not repent. Anyone who betrays Israel, betrays I, Yahweh, and betrays my son, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Anyone who is an enemy of Israel has set themselves up to be an enemy of I, Yahweh, the creator of Israel, also the creator of America, and I, Yahweh, the creator of the universe. Any leader that pumps himself up and makes himself as a god and says, I will destroy Israel, shakes his fist in the face of I, Yahweh, the creator. America, you shall surely pay. America, you have already begun to burn. You burn with my rage, you burn with my anger. You cry out for mercy on America. Yet you even want to strike out the name of God away from the children's memory. My children, be assured of this. Those who are mine are in my ark. Those who hear my voice and those who weep and cry out for mercy. For you're in fear that I will thank you when I thank the rest who refuse to obey. You need not fear. I have pockets around this world and you are safe in my pockets. For my wrath is not appointed for my children. When I strike, I, Yahweh, know who to strike. My hand protects those that I protect. No one can pluck you out of my hand. Not one hair on your head can be touched unless I allow it. And if I, Yahweh, allow it, then my children shall only become more like Stephen that raised up more Pauls, and great shall be your reward in heaven. Acts 67. I am angry, my children, for you cry out for mercy on America. But the leader of America pumps himself up like a god. He is not a god. I hear the cries of my people in Israel, just even those who do not acknowledge my son Yahshua, Jesus. But they cry out to me, my children, they honor me on my Sabbath day. They keep my Jewish feet and obey my Torah. Israel carries the blood of Yahshua and Jerusalem carries the blood of Yahshua, though they receive it not. Beware, America, you are a Trojan horse. I, Yahweh, remind you of what happens to a Trojan horse. I, Yahweh, and Yahshua now prophesy through my handmaiden. I, Yahweh, will strike down the Trojan horse. And when I strike it down, it shall never raise again. I, Yahweh, and Yahshua will cut off the horse's head. I, Yahweh, and Yahshua will cut off the horse's head. You, America, will not be able to move anymore. And the merchants shall cry afar off. And they will see America burn from afar off. Revelation 18. Oh, America. I weep for you as you get ready to celebrate another birthday. You forget it was I, Yahweh, that set you apart from my and Yeshua's glory. Only a tiny infant gets you shake your fist in my face. You deny the one that created you. This warning is not for my children who worship me in truth and love and try to obey. This warning is for those who set themselves up as my enemies. Beware, America. You are as a Trojan horse. Israel has been your friend. But now you treat her as a despised enemy. Your leaders go to shake one hand and stab a blood so stagger in Israel's back with the other hand. You slander Israel. You do not report the truth. You make my Hebrew people in Israel look like a terrorist. 
You trample on their backs and on their economy. You send fear among the world and say, stay out of Israel. It is too dangerous to visit. And yet the Palestine enemies who despise my name, to the world you lift them up as heroes. And this you loudly proclaim, O oh, America, you make this promise to the Palestine. You falsely say, I, America, will give back Israel, especially Jerusalem, to the enemies of I, Yahweh. The Palestines have set themselves up as Yahweh and Yeshua's enemies. The Palestines have killed my Hebrew children. The Palestines are trying to steal the apple of my eye. So, America, for helping them, you have incurred my wrath. In America, even your name, I, Yahweh and Yeshua, now despise. I have had mercy thus far for the cries of my two children who cry out. But my two children must know this. The longer I have held back my wrath, the angrier I, Yahweh and Yeshua, became. And America, you will pay for this. So this is a message to my beloved children. Undoint your houses once again. Cry out for mercy on your own house. And I, Yahweh, will hear you, my children, once again. Repent, my children, for your own house. For you cannot repent for the sins of America. For the stench of the sins reach heaven, and all of heaven holds her nose. For no nation has done what America has done, and yet no nation was blessed like America was blessed. You want to strike out one nation under God? Then you will have one nation under my feet. I, Yahweh, will stop you, for you just took out your mercy. You just took out my favor. You want to strike out in God we trust? from your currency, then all you have left is, in America, we trust. I'll show you what happens to a nation that is not under God, Yahweh, and Yeshua's protection. It will not be a pretty sight. You will find out, America, just how puny you are in your strength and might. You want to strike out, in God we trust? Then, America, all you have left is, in we trust. So right there, you have stated that I, Yahweh, the God that set you apart, just struck out my mercy. You have just struck out my protection. For you rely only on yourself. And so America, let the world see what happens when it is only in you. Canada, I, Yahweh, and Yeshua give you this warning. Do not follow in your sister's footsteps. You call yourself North America. Now you carry the name that I despise. If you do not repent and turn away from the sins of America, the fate of America will be yours. You shall share in the grief, you shall share in my wrath, if you do not follow in Yahweh and Yeshua, Jesus Christ's footsteps. Come set yourself apart now, Canada. Canadian Christians, start praying for Canada, for your political leaders have sold your providences to the highest bidders. In the USA, they are sick for the try to come apart in America, for the shame they have felt. And there is a providence that tried to come apart from Canada, Quebec, for the shame they have felt. I, Yahweh, will acknowledge those that try to come apart. And I, Yahweh, will set them apart on that day. And the full wrath will not fall upon them on that day. Oh, America, I know you're watching your team. Your political leaders seek to replace Arafat. Arafat is a lesser of two evils. The Palestine leader to come will make Arafat look like a schoolboy. He will be a traitor. He will be a Judas. He will be as like unto a Judas. He will betray his own people. It is only a matter of time that Arafat will be removed. But woe be unto those who applaud the removal of Arafat. For a greater evil will come. To those who rejoice, they will mourn. Those that laugh now will be scorned. What a great price America's political leaders will pay as they try to sell Israel to the highest bidder. All for their own motivations. All for their own greed. A greater evil is coming, more than you can ever dream or even conceive. Woe, people of America, for you played right into Satan's hands. You played right into the Antichrist scheme. You played right into the blueprint that has been laid by the Antichrist that is to come. If you, America, it is you, America, that I charge now. You are the chosen horse, and for this you shall pay, America. Enjoy your prosperity, enjoy your luxury, enjoy your greed, enjoy your fame, enjoy your fortune, for it shall be short-lived. My true beloved children who live in America, you must repent that you call yourself American. Do not let the blood of America be found on your hands.
humbly given to this apostle handmaiden Elizabeth Elijah and he's during a phone conversation with a faithful, faithful brother and supporter of this ministry named Brian. We were in prayer when the Holy Spirit stopped me from praying in English and much to my surprise this word came forth. Please Christian Americans repent and pray for this land. Once the land of the free before it is too late. Please pray for the peace of Jerusalem and love our Jewish brothers and sisters for we all serve the King of the Jews, our Messiah, and God whose name is Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Please pray and petition our leaders to not turn against Israel. We know that our Christian faith in Yahweh and Yeshua, Jesus Christ, and the Bible scriptures are truth. For Israel will never be destroyed. Israel will always stand. Beware America and all other nations for you have not been given this promise in the Holy Scriptures. If Israel ceases to exist, then what we believe in would be a lie. The Bible is a word that was made flesh through Yahshua, Jesus Christ. And Yahshua will one day soon plant his two feet on Mount Olives and reign from Jerusalem. We look forward to that coming day and say, Come, Yahshua, come quickly, is our prayer. Revelations 22, verses 6-7. 12, 13, 17, and 20. Please read it. Our Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord Jesus Christ, is coming again. Will you be ready?